Hello everyone, my name is Courtney Taylor and I am a nursing student at Grand Canyon University. And today's topic is disaster preparedness. And the disaster that I'm going to discuss is the natural disaster hurricanes. So hurricanes are, um, is a natural disaster, um, which is a large scale geological meteorological event that has the potential to cause loss of life um, or property damage. Um, these types of disasters include, but aren't limited to, tornadoes, severe storms, hurricanes, which I'm going to talk about, of course, tropical storms, floods, wildfires, um, earthquakes, and droughts, which I didn't think droughts were like, you know, natural disasters really, but I guess they can be because they affect the food. Anyway, um, so with that being said, Houston is uh, like 50 miles away from the Gulf of Mexico. So it's considered um, to be part of the Atlantic hurricane season, which runs from June 1st to November the 30th. Uh, the city of Houston, Texas, um, experienced a horrific uh, hurricane in August of 2017 when Hurricane Harvey happened. Um, there was steady rainfall for three days, uh, dumping more than 27 trillion gallons of water, uh, rain with some parts of Houston receiving 50 inches, um, due to Houston's infrastructure, poor infrastructure and increased population in combination with the natural factors. Um, it created a chronic damage problem, which made Houston vulnerable for, um, the type of, of damage that they, you know, for the type of damage that occurred. Um, so, and it sits just 50 feet above sea level. Um, so with, you know, the anniversary date, three years later happening, I just wanted to discuss some things that we can do or that I can offer to my target audience, which is staff that work in Southeast Memorial Hermon, which like I said, is super close to Galveston Bay, which is right there by the Gulf Coast of Mexico. So um, some of the things that I noted um, that people were experiencing um, were um, anticipation of misfortune because they feel stuck. So a lot of them are like, oh my God, you know, I'm still in debt. I don't think I'll ever get out of debt um, since Hurricane Harvey happened. Um, anxiety, panic, fear, real or perceived, because anytime it rains, they're thinking, oh my God, another hurricane, what am I going to do? excuse me, also sleep disturbances because they're having recurrent dreams, nightmares about what had happened. So they're unable to sleep. And just, they, some of them have had to been put on blood pressure medicine due to increased anxiety. So their blood pressure is super high. And that's just dealing with the aftermath of what Hurricane Harvey has put them through. So I just basically want to inform you guys about what we can do to help um, combat you know, all these fears and uh, prepare you for uh, an impending event. Um, not to say that it's going to happen, but in the event that it could happen, I want you to be well prepared and well versed in what you can do to help yourself. So how to prepare for a, um, a, a disaster, any type of disaster. So with KHOU 11, which is one of Houston's uh, TV stations, they have uh, their website and they have a number that you can call so you can find out what the flood zones are in Houston. So in the event that a hurricane is about to happen, you want to know where you can and cannot go, where you can and cannot be. So if you're at home and the sound comes over the TV or out in the area, you'll know exactly where to go. I want you to be prepared prior to it happening, not exactly when it happens. Also, um, ready.gov has uh, disaster kits and so does uh, Red Cross. And the disaster kits include water for drinking and sanitation, food for three days, battery powered radios, and you also want the NOAA weather radio with the tone alert, just to alert you of things that are going on within the city at the time of the uh, disaster. Um, it also has flashlight and you'll also need a first aid kit just in case. Um, there's also a number for FEMA that you can call for disaster assistance, and that is the 1-800-621-FEMA, which is 1-800-621-3362. Uh, um, you can also um, get, on, get online um, and register for assistance. 
also uh, Houston has its own Red Cross uh, within the city of Houston, and it's the one near the Gulf Coast, Gulf Coast. They have two. So the one that I'm more interested in is the one that's closer to you guys. So that number is 281-282-6039. So these are, you know, a few of the things that you can look up and have on hand um, in your car or in, uh, in your house so that you can be fully prepared in the event that a disaster does happen. So um, at the end of all this, I want you to be well-versed in who to call, when to call, and what to have in your vehicle or uh, in your home, and you need to have it for all family members. So no matter if you have two people, one person to 12 people in your household, everybody needs their own disaster kit so that they can help themselves and also be able to help others because the food and the drinking slash sanitation um, water um, is for, it lasts for three days. So the rainfall lasted for three days. So this is lasting for three days. So you'll be okay for at least three days. So um, I do have, you know, coffee and refreshments and we will have a QA and a uh, after the presentation is over and you can tell me and tell your peers um, your feelings regarding the hurricane, um, how it's affected you, how it's affected your family. And um, we can just discuss other ways we can combat or, or, or prepare ourselves uh, for future uh, events or just to prepare ourselves for the future period. I really thank you for attending this presentation. I hope that I have given you um, enough information to start. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, you can just reach out to me at um, Courtney.Taylor at MemorialHerman.org. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye.